Hello everyone, welcome back to another interesting tutorial series. I hope you are all doing great. In this series, I will show you how to download a 3D character from Ready Player Me website and then we'll import the character into Blender and rig it using Autorig Pro add-on. After that, we'll export the character to the animation software Cascader. We'll look at several ways to transfer characters between Blender and Cascader. Next, we'll animate the character in Cascader. Finally, we'll import the animation back into Blender. I'll show you how you can import any motion capture or character animation from Cascader to Blender 2. This is going to be a long and detailed tutorial series, so feel free to grab a coffee and let's get started. If you can visit my website, you can find the link of the Ready Player Me website and here you have a few options. You can select a base character, upload your own photo or use camera to grab a picture of yourself. Ready Player Me will then generate a stylized 3D character for you. After that, feel free to customize your character using the rich user interface of Ready Player Me. You can customize many details. You can change the face shape, the eyes, you can add sunglass and choose different outfit from their library. You can also change your hair color. A lot of customization is possible. Once you're happy with your character, just press next. And from here, copy the generated link and paste it into a new tab in your browser. It will automatically download the 3D model in GLB format. I have also detailed the entire process in a step-by-step -step guide in my blog post. So feel free to visit my website and check if you missed anything from my tutorial. To import your character, navigate to File, Import, GLTF 2.0. From there, locate your GLB character file and open it. Perfect. Our character has been successfully imported. Let's select and delete the default cube since we don't need it. Now, if you switch over to the shading workspace, you will see that our character has been imported with all of its materials and texture already applied. As you can see, the character comes with a default armature from Ready Player Me 2. However, we are not gonna use that. Instead, I'm going to show you how to rig your character from scratch using the Autorig Pro add-on. Let's switch to the front viewport. Now, using the measure tool, let's find out how tall our character is. As you can see, my unit of measurement is set to meters. So, the character's height is showing up as total about 1.78 meters. Alternatively, if you prefer to work in feet, you can simply switch to the unit system to Imperial. And now you can see your character's height is displayed in feet, measuring at approximately 5.8 feet tall. Since our character is already at a standard height, we don't need to worry about the scale. Instead, let's organize our scene. Let's select all parts of our character, then press M to move the selection to a new collection. You can name the collection whatever you like. For my example, I'm going to name the collection as PewDiePie. Select all the objects that make up your character. Next, open the Autorig Pro panel. Under the Smart section, click the Get Selected Object button. In the window that pops up, select Full Body and then press OK. Next, Autorig Pro will prompt you to place a series of reference points on your character. This step is crucial, so take your time and place each point in its correct position. The quality of final generated rig is based entirely on the placement of this point. So it is important to be as accurate as possible. Moving on to the facial setup. Here, Autorig Pro will prompt you to place reference point on the character's face. You don't have to worry about enabling the mirror option here as it is activated automatically for this step. Just focus on placing the points accurately on one side of the face and they will be mirrored to the other side as well. To select an entire loop of point at once, you can hold down the Alt key and click on the point in that loop. For smoother adjustment, you can optionally enable proportional editing using the shortcut key O from the keyboard. This will allow you to move a group of points together in a more organic way. Next, we need to assign the character's eyeball. Once you are done, press the go button to start generating the bones. 
The Autoric Pro will now build the armature based on the body and facial reference point that you have just placed. As you can see, Autoric Pro has now generated all the bones for our character and it's done a great job placing them correctly based on the, our reference point. Now click on the Match to Rig button. Autoric Pro will now generate the final and complex control rig and align it perfectly with the simple skeleton that is generated. Now if you select any controller and try to move or rotate it, you'll notice that the character's mesh doesn't move with it. This is because we still need to connect or bind our character's mesh to the new rig. To begin the binding process, first make sure you are in the tab of the Autoric Pro panel. Next, ensure you are in object mode. Now select all of your character's mesh object and finally while holding down the shift key select the rig armature. Now we need to select the method we want to use to bind the mesh to the armature. We have three options here, heat maps, voxelized and voxel heat diffuse. For this tutorial I'm going to use voxelized option. Once that is selected press the bind button. This process might take a moment, depending on your PC's performance, it could be anywhere around 30 seconds to a couple of minutes. Once the bind is complete, switch to pose mode. Now if you select and move any of the controller, you will see that our character's mesh moves right along with it. You can select the eye controller and move it around. You will notice the character's eye will continuously follow the target controller. You can test out the other parts as well, like selecting the hand controller to move the hand. Here I'm selecting the main foot controller, which I can rotate to pose the foot. More impressively, if I use the dedicated foot roll controller, you can see that foot roll feature is already set up and working perfectly. All of this was accomplished in just a matter of moment with only a few clicks, which really shows the power and flexibility of Autoric Pro. The rig also includes a master controller. This allows us to easily move and rotate the entire character as a single unit. Okay, so our rigging process is complete. If you look in the outliner, you will notice a new collection has been created that contains all the rigs, controller and bones. Now that our rigging process is completed, let's export the character. Make sure you have the character's armature selected. Next, go to the Autoric Pro panel and scroll down to the export section. From there, click the export a bigs button. Now let's switch over to Cascader to import our character. In Cascader, select file import a big scene a file browser will open and navigate to the apex file we just export it from blender and select it and click import and you are done cascader will automatically detect that you are importing a new character and it will prompt you to enter its rig mode simply click yes to continue at this point, Cascader gives you a choice. If you are importing a humanoid character like we are, it is best to launch the quick rigging tool. As you can see on the right side, most of the bones are already mapped. Only the hands bone are missing. So let's navigate to the hand left. Now you need to map each required bone. The primary method is to drag the bone name from the list of the left panel and drop it onto the corresponding field on the right. Alternatively, you can drag a bone from the list and drop it directly onto the matching spherical marker on the character diagram. Continue this process one by one until all the required bones have been assigned. Once all the bones have been mapped to their required field, it is a good idea to double check your work. Quickly review the tab, the body, the left hand and the right hand and make sure everything is correct. You don't need to assign the optional twist bone. When you are sure that all the required bones are mapped correctly, simply press the create rig button. 
Cash Carrier will then ask for a final confirmation, giving you the option to either generate the rig or continue editing. Since we have finished all our setup, we are ready to proceed. Go ahead and click the generate rig button. As you can see, the rig generation is completed and our character is now fully rigged inside Cascader. We can now animate it using all the standard tools. So that is the complete workflow of how you can import a custom character into Cascader, rig it using quick rigging tool and prepare it for animation. That's all for this tutorial. Thank you for watching.